Hey guys, Spidey's back. We've got an install video for the hard mounting of the CSL Elite racing wheel and the CSL Elite pedals to a racing rig. Now this wheel comes ready for desk mounting with the included desk clamp, but you're going to have to put a little bit of extra work in if you want to hard mount this racing wheel to your actual racing rig. I'll list the steps below in the description and also I'll pin a comment with the written version and links to Fanatic's website for the drilling templates and also the manuals. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need three M6 bolts. Make sure you get the cap screw type as you can use an Allen key for these. Now also the length must not go further than 16mm into your wheelbase according to the manual. So make sure you test out how thick your actual rig is and the metal that you're going through and make sure that 16mm does not go further into your wheelbase. You're then going to need six M8 bolts, again cap screw type, and these are for your pedals and for the pedal base. Now you're going to need some nylon lock nuts as well to make sure to fit the M8 bolts and to secure everything down. A drill, if your rig doesn't already have the holes pre-drilled, you're going to need to drill the holes for it. Some spanners, obviously to tighten the bolts. Some printouts of the drilling templates for the wheel and the pedals. And if you want to, get the printouts of the manual. It gives you much more detail than just the quick guide. And if you're into a bit of cable management, a few cable ties or even some cable ducting. Alright, so the first step is going to be remove the two little blocks on the underside of the wheelbase. These are used for desk mounting, but they're no good for hard mounting. So get a little Allen key, unscrew them, chuck them out. Next, place the wheel and pedals in a position you think is comfortable and settle on a final position before drilling any of the holes. Once you've got that position you're happy with, sticky tape the drilling templates down and then drill the holes. Once you've done, clean away any sharp edges that might have been left from the drill on the holes to make sure nothing scratches and nothing does any damage to your wheel or your pedal base. Also, while you're doing your templates and your drilling and before you start bolting things down, think about cable management. Make sure that no cables are pinched or caught between anything. Once you've got everything tightened down, install your steering wheel, tighten the bottom bolt and follow the quick guide or the downloadable manual on how to install the latest drivers and how to center your wheel. It won't be centered from factory if you have to do a firmware update. After all that, you're good to go and find your ideal force feedback settings in your racing game. I hope the video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.